Hey there, everybody. So a nice person at Legion Paper named Paige Clark evidently saw my uh, Moab Barita review uh, that I did versus the Hanamule papers. And um, Legion Paper um, evidently owns Canson, Infinity, and um, Moab, and maybe a few others. Um, but anyway, they reached out to me and they said, hey, would you like to try a sampler pack of the uh, Arches Discovery Pack, which is what this is here. And um, this sampler pack consisted of two sheets of Arches 88 and two sheets of Arches BFK Reeves White, two sheets of Arches BFK Reeves Pure White, and two sheets of Arches Aquarelle. And um, all in eight and a half by 11 size. And these are all uh, matte papers with varying degrees of texture on the uh, surface. And um, actually the textures get, uh, the Arches 88 is the smoothest and the Arches Aquarelle is more like a, a, a traditional watercolor paper. It's very textured. Um, okay, so the art, this is the Arches 88 and all these papers use uh, on the Canon Pro 1000, they use the highest density art paper setting, which lays down a ton of ink. And you can see that the paper is truly and well saturated. Um, it makes for an absolutely beautiful print with uh, a lot of ink and a lot of depth. Um, it, it is definitely a matte paper. And of these four papers that I got to try, my favorites actually were the Smooth, the Arches 88, and the Arches Aquarelle, which is the very textured one. And this is the Arches Aquarelle. I prefer uh, the Arches Aquarelle for black and white. The Reeves papers were kind of somewhat in the middle. My least favorite paper of this bunch was the Reeves White. Um, I could see where it would have a purpose, but I process my images to be a little warm anyway. And so it kind of left me with a dull uh, image. I would, um, I'm sure that the paper has its uses and I'm sure there's people that love it, but for my personal taste and for what I'm looking for with my photography, the Reeves White would be, it's still a great paper, but it would be my, uh, uh, it wouldn't be my choice, my preference, let's say. The uh, pure white Reeves was really nice, um, but my favorites of the two are the Arches 88 and the Arches Aquarelle. And the Arches Aquarelle um, is very textured and it's nice for a black and white print, but it's very, it's, it's very artsy to me. And I, I tend to be more of a purist photographer, so I don't want the paper distracting from the image. Um, it does, the, the Arches Aquarelle texture is very strong. It's pretty in its own way, but it's, to me, it's kind of like a canvas print. It's just a preference thing. It's still a beautiful paper that, that uses a ton of ink and does a beautiful job. But, um, but I think that the winner here would be the Arches 88. And the next logical conclusion would be to test the Arches 88 paper against the Moab Entrada. Uh, which is another matte paper that I really um, enjoy. Not sure what the outcome of that is, although I do think that I might prefer the Arches 88 over the Entrada. The Arches 88 just seems to be very lush. As a matter of fact, all these papers are incredibly thick. They're incre they've got a beautiful texture and a beautiful feel to them, um, even the Arches 88. And um, they, they just, they're ve very luscious. They, they, you can tell there's a lot of ink that's been laid down and absorbed and, and, and reflects back out. So they are beautiful papers. I would go so far as I would have to test it, but I would think that the Arches 88 would replace my Moab Entrada for, for what I would want to sh um, uh, print on a matte paper. So uh, there it is. Now, as far as the uh, Moab Juniper is concerned, that's still my go-to paper in terms of uh, printing my fine art prints. Um, but when I need a matte paper, I, w I, think, I, I think this um, exercise has shown me that I, uh, the Arches 88 is a beautiful way to go. 
And I should finally mention that these are mold made papers. And uh, from what I can understand, there's three ways to make paper. There's handmade paper, and then there's mold made papers, and then there's machine made papers. And uh, for 100% cotton rag papers, which is what these are, uh, the mold made evidently is the way to go because it lays down the fibers in more of a random pattern, which creates a stronger paper. The machine made papers tend to lay the fibers down in, in one direction. So they have strength in one direction and not the other. Um, and they're very uniform, but they're also directional. Whereas the mold made papers are more random. I, it might have implications in terms of how the ink is absorbed, etc., etc. But uh, traditionally, the fine art papers have either been handmade or mold made. And that's what these papers are. So um, from basically from what I can tell uh, in this day and age, these are probably the highest quality papers using utilizing the highest quality methods to make these papers. And so that's pretty exciting, too. Um, it leads me to the question of do they make a paper like the Moab Juniper or the Hannah Mule um, uh, Barita um, in, in a mold made paper? I don't know. I think it might be more of a watercolor thing. So um, anyway, thanks again to uh, Paige Clark for uh, considering me and sending me these papers to try. Um, Canson is not sponsoring me. They're not sending me free paper. They just sent me a sampler pack. So, um, so I'm pretty much free to say whatever I want. But I will say that um, they are some fantastic papers, really high quality. And um, I'm very impressed by them. If I need a matte paper, I think the Arches 88 wins in terms of what I would use. So, hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Like, subscribe. And um, if you like this content and you like the fact that it's ad free now, um, consider a, a generous donation of $24 a year. Um, and uh, there will be a link in the description below to go to my webpage to find out how you can donate. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you later.